Howdy folks, it's Logger John here. And it's a Friday evening. Uh, June the 2nd. It's around, uh, let me check the outdoor, it's 6.30. And uh, I'm just out in my yard, checking out the yard. Haven't really made a video in a while. As you all know, my uh, camera broke. Right now I'm using my daughter's camera. I'm just going to show you around the yard a little bit here. Lots of noise in the background. You can hear my neighbor while he's cutting grass and then I think they're bombing around on dirt bikes. But Today's video is brought to you by Big J's Woodchuck Chili. The logger's choice. Nothing's up. It's all potatoes. Potatoes all back there. And then we have uh, these two rows as uh, turnips. And then green beans. And we got two tomato plants. But uh, we, I put some uh, Yukon gold in and some chieftain red there and then over here i have gold rush apparently they're a white potato they didn't have any uh um they didn't have some of the kinds i wanted they're almost sold out um, this is a Kennebec. It's a white potato too. I was looking for russet, but they were sold out. So I settled for the gold rush. I don't know what it's going to be like, but then if you go over here, we got in my small gardens here. I have some onions, some pepper plants, some lettuce. In this row here, there's some carrots I planted. And then over here, I have some pak choy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pak choy. I thought I would try that this year. I've never had it before, so. So I got that there. And then in this garden, I have some celery growing. And then some basil. And then there's the chives that come up every year. And then I have a strawberry plant. And I got more carrots. And I have some beets in that row. And then down at this end, I put in some dill. Along there. So, I've been kind of busy. been busy at work, so... Never really made any uh, woodcutting videos in a while. The woodcutting season is kind of kind of came to an end I've been doing some fence repair the last few nights I'm replacing some of the boards on this fence some there and some there and then down at the other end down there I replaced some boards and there's one board there I replaced they're getting kind of rotten every couple of years you got to go through and replace some of the boards and then paint them I got a bunch of, so I got to paint those boards and then touch up some spots. I painted the picnic table last night, as you can see maybe. And another, so you can see up here where I have to touch up some paint. It's been really uh, dry here the last uh, few weeks. We could use a rain. Uh, really bad it's supposed to rain uh, it was supposed to rain this afternoon maybe thunderstorms but next week we're supposed to get some rain I hope so pretty green this part anyway but over here it's not so green it's starting to burn it's really close to the rock here you can see where it's got a little bit brown here 
and then you can see the kind of the mark there. It's kind of funny. It's like where the it's where the furnace lines go from the house to the furnace to the outdoor furnace. It always kinds of burns there for some reason, but. And there's my famous woodshed. <clears throat> there's not too much in here left. Well, there's no firewood. Some bicycles and some other stuff. <laughs> there's my snow shovel. I don't think I need that. I put. I should put that away. <laughs> and then there's just the wheelbarrow and. There's all the boards over there that I piled the wood on in the fall. But we'll take a tour back here, over here. Look at this poor tree here. It's an ash. It still doesn't look too bad this year, but uh, we'll go up through here and well, I can hear the bees. There's all kinds of little bees all around this spruce tree. I'm not really sure what they're getting out of that spruce tree, but there's lots of them. There's the famous big lilac bush. <laughs> Had some nice blooms on it there a few weeks ago. Oh, we'll go down here. This is a little birch tree that I planted a couple of years ago. I dug it up up at the farm. Hasn't got any white on it yet, but it's uh, it is a birch tree. When they're young like that, a lot of times they're still a bit brown until they get mature, more mature, but. Oh, here's some more here's some more boards that I replaced on this fence here one big one down there but uh, yeah this lawn's not too bad here it's uh, over here that's burns oh well, it's really close to the rock over here so up there it's burning burnt a bit You can see where it's really burnt here in this spot. There's not much topsoil. It's all rock right there. Oh, the mosquitoes are just absolutely a nightmare here lately. They're so bad. Here's these uh, two more ash trees. They don't look very healthy. It's got one big dead limb right there. And they're pretty thin. They have the emerald ash borer. I think this will be their last year before they'll probably have to come down. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we have a hydro line right here. And this one, this big guy's leaning on the hydro line, but still got a quite a few leaves on it. I mean, it looks 
pretty healthy, but it's definitely definitely got the bug. This one's a little worse here. And a sure sign of the emerald ash borer is all these little uh, shoots coming off the main trunk. You can see here where the woodpeckers have been digging away at the bugs. Oh, well, there's going to be a few more uh, ash trees to bring down. There's one right over there that's half dead. And then there's another one there that's doesn't look very well either, but this little uh, this is a little red oak here <clears throat> that I planted a quite a few years ago, but it's starting to come back now. But uh, you can see all the little dead leaves on it what happened was it got hit by frost believe it or not it killed uh, killed a lot of the little baby leaves that were coming out on it there about three weeks ago but hopefully it'll come back we had some pretty heavy frost there a few two or three weeks ago so Anyways, just thought I'd take you on a tour, a little, a little tour anyway. We've got some plants coming up here. I forget what these are, but they have nice flowers on them. <coughs> I've been using my uh, zero turn lawn mower this year. I haven't even used this yet. I had it out, I had it running, but I've never used it yet. I might I might get it out next week and just to just to use it a little bit, but <clears throat> probably uh probably should sell it, but it's always nice to have a backup machine if something happens to the new zero turn, but I have uh two push mowers and a garden tiller back there but <clears throat> I use I mostly use this push mower here it's got the Honda motor I bought that at Sears just before it closed in Perth <laughs> and it was like a $600 lawnmower for like 300 bucks it's not self propelled but and this guy here I found in the dump it runs like a new one but I don't really use it too much but I have the oil, I even bought some oil to change the oil in this and uh, I didn't use this much last year so the oil it still looks pretty good but <clears throat> anyways this shed's a little bit messy in here so um, oh I know what I want to show you guys bring it outside here a little uh, I'll set it on the ground <clears throat> it's my little leaf blower that I bought last year
I bought it, uh, I'm going to set it over here. I bought it uh, at the home hardware store. I mostly bought it to use for my, uh, to clean off my lawn tractors when I'm finished with them. And it works really well for that. Blow any debris off. It's a 20 volt battery. And the kind, I'm going to set it down here in the ground. It's a Radley. It's a, uh, sold through the home hardware stores. Chinese model. <laughs> it only came with one battery but in the charger, but it was on sale for uh, I think I think I paid 60 bucks for it and it was regular 80 bucks so it was like I don't know 20 bucks or something off it but then to buy another battery the battery was going to be like 40 bucks I think but I didn't really need another battery I mean I just used it to blow off I used it a few times to blow off the walkway and the deck it works really good for that but But it's great for blowing off your uh, lawnmower deck, all the debris off it and stuff. I really like it. So it's pretty. I mean, the battery. Is, this battery is probably getting a little bit low, but. It's nice and light. So that Radley. Radley company right there Radley they make a lot of stuff and so they're sold through the home hardware stores and uh, they make lawnmowers now and chainsaws generators uh, tools like uh, drills and saws but they're kind of a lower end uh, lower end name so I don't know their their chainsaws there they had like a 50 cc chainsaw and it was on sale for like less than 200 bucks but I don't know how good they'd be they were like I said they're Chinese stuff but Okay, I have my over here at the walkway and I have my little blower here I think I only have about half power left but So you can you can see it works pretty good. The battery is starting to get low though you can tell, but the battery, like a full charge will last you about oh 20 minutes I guess of full blowing. Full like if you have it on for 20 minutes. So that's a Radley lightweight blower. 
I like it. For the price, you can't beat it, so. I'll go over here to my shed and see what I have in here. So in here, I keep my Hustler Raptor. <laughs> and I got my snow blower and my air compressor. So, so far, so good for this machine. I did change the oil in it there this spring. And, uh, it needs to be cleaned off, I guess. I didn't use, I didn't blow it off the last time I used it, which was last night, actually. But there's, uh, let me see, there's 40, just over 48 hours on this machine. I've had it about a year now. So, good review so far. I really like it. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I'm getting used, more used to it. So I'm so used to driving a conventional lawn tractor, but... Yep, no issues. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you. This is where I keep, uh, just hold on, I'll have to get the key. Okay. So what do I have in here? I got my three-wheeler, the old three-wheeler. And I got my wood splitter in here. I keep it in here for the summer. Don't really, doesn't see really much use all summer, but. And then my walk behind trimmer that I bought last year. It's an Echo WT1610, or let me see, I'm reading it upside down. WT1610 Echo with a Briggs and Stratton motor. It's a little dirty it needs a bit cleaning I had it out there uh, at the beginning of this week and did some cutting not really a hundred percent happy with the machine it cuts fine no issues with cutting starting whatever but a uh, little bit hard to use a little bit hard to push and maneuver um, it's just way too much flex in the handlebars. There's too much flex down there and down there and up here where you have the claps, the fold up handles. It's really, this thing will not stay tight. They loosen off after a while and then the next thing you know, your handlebars are moving. And I'm really not happy with this Mickey Mouse switch that they put on it. This just falls off, no matter how hard you squeeze it on there. Not happy. I'm actually thinking actually about maybe cleaning it up and selling it. And getting a, a less complicated model. We'll see. It's a thousand dollar machine. <laughs> we'll see. Probably sell it pretty easy, but we'll see. Anyways, that's what I keep in here. I just find, I just find like it's really, you get in the rough ground and the handles flex so much and move around that it's, it kind of like, it pretty much tire, it tires you out using it for like a fairly long time, just because of all the flex in the frame and the handles. Okay, well, down to see my famous wood piles. <laughs> I was going to go down and see the cows, but I don't see any cows in here. They must be back at the lake, I guess. I don't know. 
I got a pretty good stash of firewood for myself, as you can see. There's three rows there. <laughs> Enough for a couple years. I still have some more wood to cut. Maybe on the weekend, some weekend coming up. Maybe if the temperature drops, it'd be kind of hot cutting wood today, or this last week or so. Do not see the cows. They were here last night, but... You can see where I used the walk behind trimmer the other night. Mowed some of this down here. And then I mowed some down along the driveway, but... I do still have back there that big pine that got hit by lightning in the ice storm. I still have to clean that up maybe. And the other day when I went for a walk back there by the on the other side of the sugar bush, there's a couple pine that I noticed that are missing tops. One's really easy to get out, one's really hard to get out, but I don't really need the firewood, as you can see. I have lots of firewood, but I hate to see them go to waste. So there's that wood to cut sometime. We'll see. But you can look around and it's hard to see, but there's like a dead ash over there. This is some over in there. Yeah. So there's lots of lots of wood to cut sometime. You can see where it's getting pretty brown, the lawn, right here. Pretty burnt. Mm. Anyways, it's supposed to be a short video, it's kind of turned into a long video. Hope in the next uh, couple of weeks I'm supposed to be going to a tractor pull up in Carp, Carp, Ontario, which is kind of north, uh, north of here. There's a tractor pull going on. I'm hoping to get up to that. And so that should, I should have some footage of that hopefully. Okay guys. Well, my battery's starting to die and I'm using my daughter's camera. She does have another battery, thank goodness, but I'm still in the market for another camera, but I haven't decided what kind to get, so. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and thanks for your support. And hopefully we'll well have some wood cutting videos, hopefully coming up over the course of the summer. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to post a video every week and every Sunday. The last video was just uh, a bunch of tr tree cutting. Uh, I put a bunch of tree cutting videos together. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, stay tuned and we'll talk to you guys later.